don't try and be Taylor. That's what I learned. Yeah, that's she's on a whole nother stratosphere. She's the best at what she does for a better time than to uh, throw a big music festival. Kelsey Jam is coming to Kansas City draft. Articulate and just very dialed into every single thing that she she does. And um, and that's the beauty of it. Not most importantly, I have a brand new album called The Tortured Poets Department, which comes out on April 19th. And I'm so proud of it. Um, I plan on doing something. Uh, haven't figured out where we'll be yet. Uh, okay. Love and music. It's not every day we get a glimpse into the dynamic world of love and music, but when NFL star Travis Kelsey and Grammy-winning artist Taylor Swift come together, gears up for his second annual Kelsey Jam Music Festival, he's not just bringing the beats, he's also bringing some valuable lessons learned from his talented girlfriend. In a recent interview with The Hollywood Reporter, Travis shared his insights into the music industry, courtesy of Taylor's expertise. Don't try and be Taylor, that's what I learned, Travis confessed, acknowledging Taylor's unparalleled success and talent. Yeah, she's on a whole other stratosphere. She's the best at what she does for a reason. Don't try and be Taylor, that's what I learned. Yeah, that's she's on a whole nother stratosphere. She's the best at what she does for articulate and just very dialed into every single thing that she, she does. And, um, and that's the beauty of it. And I, I think that's one thing I could probably take away is she really, you know, relates to the, to the people she's um, performing in front of. But it's not just about emulating Taylor's style. It's about appreciating her artistry and the dedication she puts into every performance. Travis highlighted Taylor's articulate nature in everything she does, emphasizing the beauty of her work. That's the beauty of it, he mused. I'd be silly if I ever tried to take anything from what she does other than just enjoy the people that show up. As the excitement builds for the Kelsey Jam Music Festival, featuring star-studded performances from artists like Lil Wayne, Diplo, and 2 Chains, Travis is eager to soak in the experience. Reflecting on last year's successful event, Travis expressed his enthusiasm for bringing the celebration back to Kansas City. No better time than to uh, throw a big music festival. Kelsey Jam is coming to Kansas City draft. Maybe an even bigger crowd than the folks that we have down here. Now the fans of Kelsey Jam no longer have to fight for their right to party. Crowd all celebrating three things. The Chiefs, the draft, and everyone's favorite tight end, Travis Kelsey. I love this place, and I believe this energy that, uh, that you know, we um, they feed us on Sundays. You gotta fight for your right to what? To fight! It was such a blast that I had to do it again this year. I'm so excited, he exclaimed. It's going to be so much fun, and I cannot wait to get back out and celebrate with KC, man. While Travis is known for his prowess on the football field, his support for Taylor's musical journey has taken him around the world. From Argentina to Singapore to Australia, Travis has been by Taylor's side during her epic Eras Tour performances, experiencing the magic of her connection with fans firsthand. She really relates to the people she's performing in front of, Travis observed, highlighting Taylor's ability to connect with audiences globally. And so I'll take that, he added, acknowledging the valuable lessons he's learned about authenticity and connection in the world of music. As Travis Kelsey continues to navigate the realms of sports and music, his partnership with Taylor Swift serves as a testament to the power of love, support, and shared passions. Together, they're not just creating music and memories, they're inspiring others to embrace their unique journeys and celebrate the joy of music in all its forms. Taylor Swift's Lucky Number 13 Taylor Swift has long been known for her connection to the number 13, which she considers her lucky charm. Recently, the 34-year-old music icon took to Instagram to kick off the countdown for her upcoming album, The Tortured Poets Department, using her favorite number to mark the days until its release. In a nostalgic Instagram Stories post, Taylor shared a snippet of a retro typewriter typing out the message, 12 days until the tortured poet's department, signaling the imminent arrival of her highly anticipated album. Telling you a secret that I've been keeping from you for the last two years. Most importantly, I have a brand new album called The Tortured Poet's Department, which comes out on April 19th, and I'm so proud of it. It's called The Tortured Poet's Department. I'm gonna go and post the cover right now backstage. You know, we have so many exciting things ahead of us. I'm continuing on with the tour. Can't wait to keep having fun with you guys because we have a lot of exciting things coming up. Thank you so much. Taylor's affinity for the number 13 runs deep. 
She once explained to MTV News the significance of this number in her life, revealing that she was born on the 13th, celebrated her 13th birthday on Friday the 13th, and achieved milestones like her first album going gold in 13 weeks and her first number one song featuring a 13-second intro. The superstition surrounding the number 13 doesn't stop there for Taylor. She has noticed a pattern where significant moments in her career align with this number, from winning awards while seated in the 13th seat or row to being in section or row M, the 13th letter of the alphabet. For Taylor Swift, the number 13 symbolizes more than just luck. It represents a thread of positive moments and achievements throughout her life and career. Whether it's serendipitous coincidences or a genuine belief in the power of numbers, Taylor's connection to 13 continues to fascinate fans and add an extra layer of excitement to her album releases and milestones. Playlist Power Taylor Swift has once again captured the hearts and minds of her fans with her latest musical venture, curating five emotionally charged Apple Music playlists that set the stage for her upcoming album, The Tortured Poets Department. This move comes amidst swirling rumors about her personal life, adding an extra layer of intrigue and anticipation to the album's release. The playlists, each aligned with one of Elizabeth Kubler-Ross's Five Stages of Grief, provide a unique glimpse into Swift's creative process and emotional journey. Starting with I Love You, It's Ruining My Life, Swift dives deep into the denial stage, exploring themes of infatuation, denial, and the intoxicating allure of love gone awry. It's a testament to her ability to weave personal experiences into relatable narratives that resonate with listeners on a profound level. In her personal message accompanying the playlist, Swift offers insights into the complexities of denial, how we can become ensnared by the fantasy of love while overlooking warning signs and harsh realities. It's a theme that many can relate to, making the playlist not just a collection of songs, but a storytelling experience that mirrors universal emotions. Moving on to the next stage, Anger, Swift's playlist takes a cathartic turn. Titled Burning Bridges and Writing Songs, it delves into the raw intensity of anger and the therapeutic release found in channeling that emotion into creative expression. Here, fans will find Swift's iconic tracks like Bad Blood and We Are Never Ever Getting Back Together, songs that embody the fiery passion and righteous indignation synonymous with the anger stage of grief. The juxtaposition of these playlists showcases Swift's artistic range and emotional depth. From the initial denial and infatuation to the fiery blaze of anger, each playlist unfolds like a chapter in a compelling novel, drawing listeners into Swift's world of heartache and healing. As the journey progresses, Swift's playlists transition into the stages of bargaining, depression, and ultimately, acceptance. Each stage is marked by a carefully curated selection of songs that capture the essence of that emotional state, creating a cohesive narrative arc that mirrors the human experience of loss and renewal. What makes Swift's approach truly captivating is her ability to blend personal storytelling with universal themes. While these playlists are deeply rooted in her own experiences, they also serve as a mirror for listeners to reflect on their own journeys through love and loss. It's this relatability and authenticity that have endeared Swift to millions of fans worldwide. In the midst of romance rumors and speculation about her upcoming album, Taylor Swift has once again proven her prowess as a storyteller and musical maestro. With her curated playlists serving as a prelude to The Tortured Poets Department, fans are eagerly awaiting the full emotional roller coaster that awaits, poised to embark on a journey of heartbreak, healing, and ultimately acceptance alongside one of pop music's most beloved icons. Kelsey's Touchdown in Hollywood Travis Kelsey, known for his prowess on the football field as a tight end for the Kansas City Chiefs, is making waves in a new arena, Hollywood. His recent venture into hosting has caught the attention of fans and industry insiders, sparking excitement and curiosity about his potential as a show host. Kelsey's journey into hosting comes amidst his well-known romance with pop sensation Taylor Swift, adding a touch of celebrity glamour to his already impressive resume. As reported by Us Weekly, the NFL star is currently in Los Angeles filming the Prime Video reboot of Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? This shift in focus from touchdowns to trivia showcases Kelsey's versatility and willingness to explore new opportunities beyond the football field. 
An insider revealed to us weekly that Kelsey is already making waves with his hosting skills, citing his natural humor and quick wit as standout qualities. The source praised Kelsey, labeling him as the perfect host for the show, a sentiment echoed by many who have witnessed his charisma and charm on and off the field. Um, I plan on doing something. Uh haven't figured out where we'll be yet. Ah, uh, okay. What's going to be the highest rated TV show this year? Uh, I couldn't tell you I'm not a big TV guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of, we've been jumping around uh, from city to city since the season's end. Uh, I'll, I'll leave that up to the viewers. Yeah. You excited about this? Coming, coming um, I think it'll be, uh, it'll be a pretty funny show. Though. Kelsey's foray into hosting comes on the heels of his third Super Bowl win in five years, a testament to his dedication and success in professional sports. In an interview with People, Kelsey expressed his happiness and fulfillment, stating, I'm the happiest I've ever been. This positive outlook reflects Kelsey's optimistic mindset and his ability to embrace new challenges with enthusiasm and confidence. The synergy between Kelsey's personal life and professional endeavors adds an intriguing layer to his Hollywood debut. His relationship with Taylor, often in the spotlight due to their respective fame, brings an element of intrigue and excitement to his career transition. Fans of both Kelsey and Swift are eagerly anticipating his hosting debut, curious to see how he will bring his signature charm and charisma to the screen. Kelsey's journey from football star to potential show host highlights the endless possibilities that come with pursuing passion and embracing change. His willingness to step outside his comfort zone and explore new avenues speaks volumes about his drive and ambition, qualities that have endeared him to fans both on and off the field. As Kelsey embarks on this new chapter in Hollywood, the buzz surrounding his hosting debut continues to grow. With his infectious personality and proven talent, Kelsey is poised to make a splash in the entertainment industry, solidifying his status as a multi-talented star capable of scoring touchdowns and winning hearts on and off the field. That's all for this video, folks. See you next time.